a high-level employee at Prince Alwaleed bin Talal's Kingdom Holding Co. told the Associated Press that the royal, who is one of the world's richest men, was among those detained overnight Saturday. The company's stock was down nearly 9% in trading Sunday on the Saudi Stock Exchange. The surprise arrests, which also reportedly include two of the late King Abdullah's sons, were hailed by pro-government media outlets as the greatest sign, yet that Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is keeping his promise to reform the country, long been plagued by allegations of corruption at the highest levels of government. Analysts have suggested the arrest of once untouchable members of the royal family is the latest sign that the 32-year-old crown prince is moving to quash potential rivals or critics. The prince's swift rise to power has unnerved more experienced, elder members of the ruling Al Saud family, which has long ruled by consensus, though ultimate decision-making remains with the monarch. The king named his son, the crown prince, as head of an anti-corruption committee established late Saturday, just hours before its arrest of top officials. The scale of the arrests is unprecedented in Saudi Arabia, where senior royals and their business associates were seen as operating above the law. Saudi nationals have long complained of rampant corruption in government and of public funds being squandered or misused by people in power. Shortly before the arrests, King Salman had ousted Prince Maiteb bin Abdullah from his post as head of the National Guard. The prince is reportedly among those detained in the sweep, as is his brother, Prince Turki bin Abdullah, who was once governor of Riyadh. Both are sons of the late King Abdullah, who ruled before his half-brother King Salman. Prince Maiteb was once considered a contender for the throne. Saudi Twitter accounts released several other names of those arrested, such as, Awalid Al Ibrahim, a Saudi businessman with ties to the royal family who runs the Arabic satellite group MBC, AMR Al Dabak, the former head of the Saudi Arabian General Investment Authority, Ibrahim Asaf, the former finance minister, and Bakr bin Laden, head of the Saudi bin Laden Group, a major business conglomerate. An earlier crackdown on perceived critics of the crown prince included clerics, writers, lesser-known princes and Saudi figures popular on social media. The finance ministry said the anti-corruption probe opens a new era of transparency and accountability, enhances confidence in the rule of law and improves the kingdom's investment climate. Reports suggested those detained were being held in the Ritz-Carlton in Riyadh, which only days earlier hosted a major investment conference. Marriott International said in a statement that it is currently evaluating the situation at the Carlton in Riyadh. As a matter of guest privacy, we do not discuss the guests or groups with whom we do business or may be visitors of the hotel, the statement added. It is not clear what Prince Alwaleed or others are being investigated for. The Saudi-owned Al Arabiya News Channel said the anti-corruption probe was looking into the response to flooding in Jeddah that killed around 120 people in 2009 and devastated the city again in 2011, as well as the government's handling of a coronavirus outbreak that has killed several hundred people in recent years. The prince, often pictured on his 281-foot superyacht in the Mediterranean, is among the most outspoken Saudi royals and a longtime advocate for women's rights. He is also majority owner of the popular Rodana group of Arabic channels. The government said the anti-corruption committee has the right to issue arrest warrants, impose travel restrictions and freeze bank accounts. It can also trace funds, prevent the transfer of funds or the liquidation of assets, and take other precautionary measures until cases are referred to the judiciary. Meanwhile, Prince Maiteb was replaced by a lesser-known royal, Prince Khalid bin Ayaf al-Mukrin, to head the National Guard, a prestigious force tasked with protecting the royal family, important holy sites in Mecca and Medina and oil and gas sites. Just three months earlier, Prince Mohammed bin Nayef was plucked from the line of succession and from his post as interior minister, overseeing internal security. This laid the groundwork for the king's son to claim the mantle of crown prince.